Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I think DSST is like particularly special because DEI is literally everything. DEI is diversity, equity, and inclusion. Okay, right now it's a very like hip word. DSST was attempting this work seven years ago. You may look at that in corporate America as meaning one thing, where the bottom line is about bringing in individuals of diverse perspectives, diverse races, to get to the bottom line, which may be financial. Whereas in education, our bottom line is children. I was really impacted the first time I saw that image of equity versus equality, and it shows like the three students, and they're in front of a fence trying to watch the baseball game. And originally you give everyone the same size box because that's equality, and then you flip it, and equity is giving the tall person no box, the medium-sized person one box, and the shortest person two box so that everyone can actually see. It's not the same thing for everyone. It is equity, where some people are gonna get a little more because they need more. So true equity is actually sitting down and listening, hearing what people's needs are, and give them their needs. As a social studies teacher, one of the first assignments I do is have students write an autobiography about themselves to see that like their history, their identity markers are like center to what we then will access. I have a student who said like, I didn't know the history of what it meant to be a black boy in America. Thank you. And those are moments where I'm like, oh God, like that's awful. Education is something that is very white centric. Working in a school with over 90% of my students being Latinx, white-centric thinking as a teacher would not work for my community. When we put things out for our students, how do we make sure that it is inclusive of all of our demographics? It has to be a priority to understand what your students want to see and who they want to hear from. Being a white woman leading in staff a few times this year, we've gotten feedback that like that would have come better from a person of color. At DSST, DEI is a journey, not a destination. People want an answer. But in diversity, equity, and inclusion, you have to accept and expect non-closure. Discomfort is completely unavoidable. In order for us to provide equity for students, we have to provide equity for staff first. I do lead affinity groups, which are uh, network groups that bring people together based on a defining character. Like for myself, I lead the Asian American, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander group. For me, I lead the affinity group for African Americans. It, again, provided like a sense of community, a space for me to be vulnerable with people, to be myself. It is amazing to sit back and get an email and say, hey, Aaron, our front office managers, we want to start doing equity audits. This is the first year I've explicitly joined the equity working team. Each campus, I believe, now has some form of an equity working group. When I see that happening and I don't have to lead out front, that's how I feel seen and valued. That means all the work that we're doing and all the research that we're doing, it matters to DSSD. How I was like seen and heard and valued in the application process was unlike any other campus. When I walk into a campus and see, see kids, I, I get chills. I get excited, I become, I become a big kid. To me, DEI is student voice. I breathe DEI. This is a 24 hour role for me. It's not just a job. DEI is all encompassing. The lens never turns off. It's the next step. It's transformation. The people you teach on my team are not like me, but also like me and it's just, and I'm never undervalued for.